As chiropractors, we say that the nervous system runs the body, which is true, but in doing so, it's doing it through genes. You know, gene expression is what manages all of our systems, functions, routines, and even personalities. And we now know that vitamin D regulates the expression of over 900 different genes. Now, we're talking here at a time and place where we're all very concerned about the coronavirus, our economy, and whether or not people will get the infection. And if they do, whether it be something minor, some people say, yeah, I tested positive but never had any symptoms, even some older people. Some people will get the coronavirus in them and say, well, it wasn't even, I was watching an older gentleman say, yeah, it wasn't even bad, as bad as a cold. I had no sinus things, no runny nose or anything like that. Uh, it just was kind of hard to breathe for a day. I had a day of a fever, so you had typical achy fever stuff, and then it was gone. Or somebody who could even be young, in their 20s or even 12 years old, we've heard of, and actually be fighting for their life or even die from it. And a lot of what will make the decision as to whether the body will not deal with it as a problem at all or actually succumb to the illness is going to be gene expression and obviously the function of your immune system. So we're talking through nutrients right now to support you through this time, support your patients through this time, your family, and vitamin D is a key one because again, it's regulating the function of these genes. And that's important, regulating the expression of these genes, gene expression is what's most relevant to our health, not just that the genes are there or that vitamin D is involved with these genes, but it's how they're expressed. So vitamin D actually supports the expression of the immune system, the genes related to immunity. You know, the pancreas, the heart, the bloodstream, cellular function, muscle function, bone function, many, many functions, 36 critical bodily organs are regulated in terms of genes and their expression by vitamin D but immunity, the immune system, is the key one we're focusing on right now. So we know that by getting D levels up, and what I mean by levels is not just that you took a lot of it, but the levels are actually up in the body. You could be taking tons of vitamin D and your levels are still low. You can be basking in the sun and your levels are still low. So it's not just about taking it or getting sunlight, it's about where are those levels. That's what determines how well your immune system is going to be working. So obviously testing is really important, but even in the absence of testing, just making sure you are taking plenty of it. As an example, you know, we do DNA testing and there are genetic variants that could stop your body from absorbing vitamin D. So there are negative vitamin D variants uh, that are associated with the VDR gene. And they found that when this VDR gene variant is active in a negative way, that actually it decreases T cell function, um, it lowers protective immunity, and actually is involved in autoimmunity. So we know that this VDR gene, because it does block the absorption of vitamin D when it's a negative variant, actually creates the very condition we're trying to stop right now, which are conditions of the immune system or a situation where our immune system has been uh, compromised. So literally when you are low on D, when those levels are low, you're immune compromised. And we know for the immune compromised people that are out there, they're the ones most at risk when it comes to this infection. So make sure as a leader, as a healthcare provider, as a member of a family, um, you know, we have our vitamin D just sitting out on the counter. Kids get up, everybody take their D. Um, us adults, we're taking a couple a day. If you know you have VDR gene variants, if you are overweight, um, if you've got stomach issues, you, got, you know that you have issues with your biome or your digestive system, then you may want to be taking uh, four of these a day. You may need 20,000 a day or 15,000 a day, but make sure you're getting enough right now. Um, it's a critical nutrient. Um, it's very well supported by research and even the medical profession coming out right now and saying make sure you're taking it. Um, you know, we want to be here for you during this time. And one critical thing that you want to make sure you're doing is taking your D.